Chinese stocks on an absolute tear, surging the most since 2008 in a six-day rally. Let's get out to Bloomberg News reporter Richard Frost in Hong Kong. Richard, I guess number one question, what is behind the optimism? It's actually quite hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge wall of money, and it, I think it's the fear that if you don't get in now, uh, you're going to be left behind. As you said, you know, the Shanghai Composite has risen about 14% in the past six days. Uh, a huge rally this year, and if you look at, uh, you know, the amount of stocks that have fallen in this, this year, there's only a handful. So really, it doesn't matter so much what stock you pile into, you're going to do well. Richard, that smells like trouble, and forget the Shanghai Composite for a moment. I'm looking at a Shenzhen Composite that's rallied over 100% this year, in 2015 alone. And on that index, there are some remarkable movers, some massive share price moves as well. What do you make of that? Well, if you look at that, I mean, the index trades, uh, the companies on that trade a medium, uh, median 110 times reported earnings. You look at the S&P 500, it's about 20. Um, some of the biggest movers there, you know, where there's one that people like to talk about, Beijing Baofeng Technology, uh, up more than 3,000 percent. It makes online video, um, videos for, for the Internet. It's made its, um, its chairman a billionaire. There's tons of stocks like this, but these are the stocks that mainland investors like. They start out small, the preferably the IPO this year. They're private companies. They're in what they consider the hottest topics, technology, consumer, robotics, those kind of companies. Um, and at the moment, there doesn't seem to be any waning in terms of interest. In fact, the frenzy seems to be intensifying. Richard, I've got to wrap up this conversation by talking about the, uh, one of the companies that everybody was talking about last week, Golden Properties. Golden Properties plummeted for almost no reason, down 60% one day. Then this morning, a complete rebound by something like 50%. What is the story with Golden Properties and Golden Financial and the likes of Hanergy, etc.? Well, I mean, you say they fell uh, for no reason. They also rallied more than 500 percent for no reason over the past 12 months. This is something that is common in somewhere like Shenzhen, not so common in Hong Kong. And the, the risk is that this link they opened up between uh, Hong Kong and, and Shanghai has created a sort of a more mainland style trading frenzy. It's unclear what the rebound is today. Their, their shares continued uh, trading, whereas Hanergy have suspended, so we've not seen any reaction there. But as I said, the, the rally in them has been mysterious. And and the exact sort of funding of this company uh, is also remains slightly unclear to a lot of investors. Virtually no analyst track, which makes it very hard for an investor to find out more. Richard Frost, some remarkable price action. A big thanks for joining us this morning. Bloomberg News reporter Richard Frost.